Yay, I won! I won in my ladybug machine, even though I hate ladybugs. Ladybugs just freak me out. I do not like them. But who cares, I won a minigame because of them, so I guess I'll be happy for now. And that gave me 21 coins. Not bad, not bad at all. Okay, so it did actually give me a bigger payout. I actually kind of figured they'd give me less since the coin pay-in was really low, but I guess they couldn't technically do that. I think you're supposed to get more than uh, what you turn in. Okay, so um, this is the Potaboo Orb. Any opponent who passes it loses 10 coins. Um, not sure where anybody is at this point. Like, how many coins does Boo have? Um, hold on. BB. Okay, I do not want to put it in front of Boo because Boo has nothing. So I'll just put it, like, right here, I guess. And I actually got some coins from using it, too, which is nice. Okay, where is the star? It is all the way up there. So I'm gonna have to go this way to get it. Oh, damn it, damn it. Oh, wait, no, never mind. I thought I was gonna land on the happening space, but... Nope. Which is good, because I would've... If I got the happening space, I would've warped to another place on the map, I think, so... Definitely don't want that. And, uh, Boo just got a metal mushroom orb. What that does is, um, whenever you, um, use it on yourself, I believe you pretty much avoid any trap capsules. Okay, I lost four points. But yeah, you avoid any trap capsules. And I think you also avoid the spaces, too. Don't quote me on that. I'm probably wrong, knowing me. But you definitely avoid the trap spaces. That's a given. We'll see what it does when Toadette uses it. Because knowing her, she's going to use it as soon as she gets it. Ooh, Toadette got some coins from that. Which is good, because guess what? Wait, never mind, never mind. I thought she was going to hit my, uh, hit my Potaboo orb, but I guess she's not that far yet. I don't think it really anybody's going to get towards that, so... I'll probably have to wait a few turns before someone actually hits that. Although Mario could have went up the stairs and hit it then, but he didn't. He didn't. Okay, let's start winning some minigames, because I have not been doing a very good job in that department. Here we have Circuit Maximus. Avoid the high voltage amps as you dash around the maze. Whoever reaches the goal first wins. Move, and then some amps move, some stay put, so yeah. Just be careful. That's basically all that was telling you. So I kind of like this minigame. It's kind of unique. And it tests your, uh, careful movement skills. Ah! Damn it. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. Damn it! Hit that one, too. Okay. Oh, damn it. I think Toadette's winning. Oh, no, Boo's winning. Okay, I'm, def I'm definitely not winning right now. Come on, I can do this. I can do this. Oh, come on. Ah, uh, Boo won. At least I was in second place, though, for the most part. Okay, so Boo's in the lead for the minigame star, I'm pretty sure. Which means I'm gonna have to get ahead of him somehow. Or reach the star before him. Oh, wow, I didn't actually use my Potaboo. Oh, wait, no, I got a new one, didn't I? Okay, yeah, I got a new one. Um... <laughs> oh, this will be really evil. Um, there's no way Boo can get that. He doesn't have enough coins. So what I might do here is I'll set this up right before the star anyways. Just in case Boo gets like a 1 or a 2 and then wins the next minigame. But, even then, well, I don't know. I probably shouldn't have put it right there. 
I got the star anyways. Still though, someone is going to lose coins next turn, which I guess is the main point. And that will put me in uh, third place. Because someone still doesn't have a star. And that is a really stupid place to put the star. Because, oh wait, they don't, they don't have any coins, so I guess that's not a bad thing. Still. Um, yeah, I'll buy a mushroom. And then hopefully get some more coins for my minigames. Or right here. I could always get coins right here. Hey, DK, what's up, my man? Oh, okay, a DK minigame. The Banana Randomizer. I like how they call it the Banana Randomizer. It's such an epic name. Hey, it's Peer Factor! Unlike the reality TV show, this is nothing like Fear Factor. Uh, choose one of the five barrels. The barrels will collect bananas as they move down the pier. And then move and then you just confirm which barrel you want. Really that easy. Um, this is kind of a pipe maze maze -ish level. Um, <clears throat> a pipe maze is I don't know how to say it. But it's kind of like Pipe Maze from Mario Party 1. You basically just pick a barrel and you get any bananas in your path. Um, I didn't mean to choose that one, but I'll go for it, I guess. But yeah, whenever you collide with a barrel, you stay on the same path you were on. But if there isn't someone to block you, you won't get the bananas on that path, so keep that in mind. I'm not doing too bad, but... Oh man, Boo got a lot of coins from this. Wow, he got a lot of coins. Thankfully, it's only a times one randomizer. If it was any more than that, Boo would have a huge lead on, on the amount of coins. Okay, Boo is going to use his Metal Mushroom and turn into Metal Boo. Oh, yep, see? That's what he did. He used that Potaboo Orb, so he got past that trap I set earlier. Although it doesn't affect... Oh, wait. Yeah, it does. <laughs> okay, I actually found that kind of funny. Like, you're too heavy, so I'm gonna drop you. Oh, how convenient! How very convenient! She had 19 coins, and she got one more from that, which means she's gonna actually get the star now. Lucky, lucky, lucky. That's all I have to say about that. Lucky, lucky, lucky. <coughs> mm, what is wrong with my throat today? I think I said that in one of my Donkey Kong Country videos recently. My throat started acting up for some reason, and... Like, I'm not sick or anything, I feel actually really good. It's just that... Uh, sinuses. They come whenever you don't need them to. Todak couldn't quite get that star, thank god. She didn't need it anymore. And what does this contraption do? I think it just changes what the orbs are. Or it gives you coins, I think, actually. No, no, it gives you new orbs. That kind of sucks, though. That's almost kind of a rip-off, if you ask me. You could, get, you could get something worse. Oh, well. It's their loss if they end up wasting it or something. And what is with Mario and all these Kamek orbs? That's like the third one he's gotten. There's probably even more on the board already. Okay, I really need to start winning some minigames now. Oh, come on! Why this game? I hate this minigame. Also, since I'm, since I'm using my new Wave Bird, I think that... Um, 
<clears throat> instead of my controller stick rumbling, I think instead it will show an exclamation mark over my head and if I... Yep, like that. That's weird, I don't know why the rumble pad doesn't work on the wave bird. I probably just have it programmed to be off, but still. I really don't know what's easier. I mean, I think that actually, when it rumbles, it can be a little easier, but... I guess it's just pre personal preference. And the fact that Todak got a gold chest, I have to find another one before it's too late. Okay, good. Please be a gold one, please be a gold one, please be a gold one. That's a normal one, but I guess that works. Okay, one more. Come on, I can win this. I can win this! I won this! Alright! I actually won Treasure Trawlers! 